Ugh. Almost back. I hope. Ah. The barest glimpse through the trees. Almost back indeed. Ugh, long rides. Don't like it much. And there's the stable. You go from there. There's water over there. I'm sure you're well aware of that. Be a good horse. Now where is... Uh, where's the Jarl? Go <coughs> going to make an assumption that he's up here somewhere. Hello? Now, oh, Lagnar! I hear him somewhere. I hear somebody anyway. Hello? Oh, there you are. Greetings. Alright. There's, uh, there's a lot. Ingvar has mobilized an army to search for something. His entire army? Then, I am not sure what we are up against. Why not? You seem to know I, uh, Ingvar. Did I say Agnar before? I meant Ingvar. It was a, it was a long ride back. Stalgard has had no reason to have an army for a long time. Hmm. You see, the last time we fought was just over 100 years ago. His family wanted the throne, and they attacked the Falskar and Amber Holds. The war ended with us the victors, and his family put town in shame. They agreed to never try to gain power again, and ever since it has been mostly peaceful here. Alright, mostly peaceful? That doesn't sound very convincing there have been some minor skirmishes and attacks since but nothing linked directly to the Junvaldirs or Stalgard the most recent was 20 years ago when Pine Vale was burned to the ground Pine Vale I know about Pine Vale that was that explains why he left so Ingvar what could you want I am not sure, but whatever it is, it is bad news for us, and he needs to be stopped. We had best get my house, Carls. The Jorgunder family has served mine loyally for hundreds of years. All that's left of them are two brothers, Ulgar and Svegard. Follow the river east until you come to a stream. Follow that stream north, and it will take you to their cabin. Tell them that they are to resume their duties as my house cars. It is not a statement that is spoken lightly, and they will know it means war is upon us. Oh dear. Okay, uh... Greetings. How do you do? Uh... Interesting. I have a question. The mercenaries who are trying to activate the gate, the one that I walked through. Who exactly knows about False Scar besides people from here and the occasional Lucky Skull? We have trade with Tamriel and had ships run back and forth for hundreds of years. 
So they know about us. Though we are certainly out of the way. I am curious as to how these mercenaries you speak of learned about the specific gate and the tools to activate it. We aren't even sure how it was done 700 years ago. This is certainly something I would like to look into sooner or later. The technology could provide useful for us, for all of Nern. And it would give Brother Thorlo something to do. Hmm. Right. Okay, where? Oh, never mind. Um. Right, I'll go get your house, Carls. I also have to go deliver a package to somebody. I have become a courier, apparently. Stay safe, friend. You too, Jarl. We live in dangerous times. I wonder what it is. Oh, lovely. I wonder what it is about. <sighs> no. Now that I think about it, it's been about the same. Ever since I was a kid. It's been kind of... Everything's been... Strange. I know I passed the house on the way down to the Priory. Great. Well, that's right, shall we? I know that he needs his house, Carl's, but... I think somebody needs... their fabric more. Do you think we could do it? Sure. We just have to take out the back wall and expand the fields to the south. Right, how did I get to the Priory from here? That way. Ugh, it's getting late. Perhaps it's not the best idea to be riding around Falskar in the middle of the night, but... Uh, oh well. It's not the middle of the night yet. And this is a fast horse. And I can just follow the river north until I come back. Well, no, I follow the road north until I get back and then... Probably go by foot. I don't really want to risk the horse again, knowing if... Not knowing if there's going to be wolves around. Of course. Seems well guarded. Uh... Hello. Excuse me. Hi. You, uh... See ya. I think... Hold on. I think I'm looking for you. Do you need something? Or your wife. I have some fabric to drop off. And I'm not entirely sure where. She's not in here with the cows, is she? <coughs> hmm. Right then. Yeah, perhaps it wasn't the best idea after all. Do you mind if I go in? Be right out again. Excuse if you're me. looking to trade with me, you'll have to wait until I open my stall in town. I'm not, actually. Let Adma know if you'd like to purchase any of the fine meats that he cooks up. I'm actually here to bring these, uh, these materials to you. I understand a bandit kind of interrupted your shipment. Where did you find these? No matter, I've been very nervous since the caravan didn't show up. I'm relieved to have them. I wasn't sure what I would do without this. Thank you. Here, I want you to have this. It's made of some of the finest fabrics that I order. 
It's more than likely to turn a few eyes and impress some people. I... Uh, no, that's... Uh... Thanks. I, I don't. It's not really my... St I'm sure I can sell it somewhere else. Do you mind if I take a quick break here? I'll be heading off again, but it's kind of dark on the road. And I need to eat something. Well, I'm out of water. Oh well. It will be mead from here on out. It's very dark. Guys? Nope. Okay, this was not my smartest move ever. Could you stop running away from me? There. Ah, uh, right. Need to head back up this way. Do the moons look bigger here, or is it just me? I think it might just be me. Middle of the night in a strange land, I'm kind of... This is... I'm oh, sorry! I should probably be moving slower than I am. Oh, there's Amber Creek. Oh, thankfully it's not as far away as I thought it would be. But I'm not going to go see the brothers until... the morning. I don't know where the stables... ended up. Oh well. Here. Now don't go running off, alright? You're going to go running off anyway, aren't you? Okay, you stay there. Agnar says, if I'm going to make a good king, I'll need a strong lady by my side. I was thinking of Varna. That's cute. Oh. It's not often you get to see the night sky in Solstheim. It's always covered in ash. This is beautiful. But cold. Greetings. Uh, greetings. Hi, Gabriel. Your horse is... Hello. Uh, Hard and nords with steel Safe bread travels. hearts adventured from their homes. Lost I forgot the about him. Land they simply yes. And they Sorry. Frigid winds of those barren hills meant to freeze their icy blood. Excuse me. Em, relax and have fun. Just don't cause any trouble, or Gabriel will throw you out. And if he doesn't, I sure will. <laughs> I'd uh, like to rent a room. Of course. It's yours for a day. Okay. Uh, and also Try some of our amber mead. We brew it special right here at the inn. No yeah, that... Up to the I'll take a couple. Saw the avatar of shore. I'm sorry, the what? I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Huh. Spirit Akravine then led Olav to the divines. Hmm. Then told him that That's the right. land was theirs to rule You'll be and here. plant and mine. Let me know if you need anything else. I will. Nacravine tore out its heart imbued with magic's great and gave it to Olav to rid the land of its grim state. He's he turned at last to the really southern Nords, he told his noble tale. He fixed the heart to an anchor point and its magic then unveiled. It's very pretty. The anchored heart be I'm not much, much one for song, but it's fine. And sprouting life at the cave and far abroad. All right. 
I need sleep. With five named keys was the wondrous heart of the gods. Why did I wake up in the middle of the night? I'm not entirely sure. I feel like I heard something that wasn't... Hold on, I'll be... I'll be back. Hmm. Nope. Sorry. I'm not sleeping well lately. I'm not entirely sure why. <laughs> 